All right, so the next thing I'm going to touch on is compression and this can be very confusing. So I'm going to try my best because I know this is a beginner's guide, but I really think that if you understand this even just a little, um, it's really gonna help your final sound of your song. So dynamic range is the difference between the quietest parts and the loudest parts. Compression is making that difference a lot smaller. So if my dynamic range is here and here, compression kind of brings it all in so it's all closer together, it's all compressed. <laughs> so there are a couple different terms that you have to know with compression. So on a compressor you will see threshold, which is basically how loud does the audio have to go before it gets compressed? You will also see ratio, which is how much it gets compressed when it does get compressed. So it'll be either like a two to one or a four to one. So for example, two to one would be for every decibel, it gets compressed two decibels. Uh, four to one would be for every decibel, it, can, it gets compressed four decibels and so on. So a four to one ratio is getting compressed a lot more than a two to one ratio. Attack is how quickly the compressor works and release is how quickly or slowly the compressor stops working and the audio gets back to its original signal. And naturally when you're compressing things, they tend to just get quieter because you're bringing down what was loud. So you're gonna want to make up that volume. So makeup gain is basically just boosting the compressed signal. I know most of you are probably like, what the heck is she saying? She is no longer speaking English and I totally get that. The first time I had to learn compression, it took me, I think it literally took me like a month before I finally understood it. So I'm so sorry if this is confusing. Um, so I will try to put it into an analogy that will hopefully make more sense. So think of compression like punching a cushion. So someone ate all my cookies and I'm super mad so I have to go punch a cushion. So, so I'm gonna start swinging, I'm gonna get my punching arms ready, I'm just gonna go at it. The position of the cushion, so how far or how close it is away from me, is the threshold. If the cushion is far away from me, I'm just swinging my arms in thin air and I'm not hitting anything. So that would be like the threshold is too high and audio never actually reaches it so the compressor isn't doing anything. Now, if I have the cushion really, really close to me, then I can't even like get a good punch in because I can't even swing my arms to the fullest of their ability. So that would be like having the compressor pushed way too low and all the audio is just constantly hitting it and it's just over compressing everything. So you want to have your cushion at that perfect distance where you can just, you know, get a good swing and just punch it and it's satisfying. So now think of the softness of the cushion as your ratio. So let's say the cushion that I'm punching is a pillow and it's a really soft pillow. So when I punch it, my fist isn't really gonna slow down at all. It's just gonna punch it and sink right in. So that would be a low ratio. It doesn't really, doesn't really compress the audio that much when it hits it. Now think of a gymnasium mat. Often do like gymnastics on or they're in like wrestling clubs. Picture one of those being on a wall and punching that. That is a very hard cushion and your fist wouldn't sink into it at all and it would probably actually hurt a little bit. So that would be a very high ratio, like let's say 10 to one. Um, so every one decibel, it's compressing 10 decibels. So when it hits it, it pretty much just like stops it right there. So now the cushion that I'm punching is a sofa seat cushion. So like those ones that are made out of foam and that is a pretty satisfying yeah softness, you know, you get a good punch in, you feel like you're hitting something substantial, but it's not hard enough that it hurts your fist. That's like a good middle point where it's not compressing too much, but not too little. So in terms of release on a compressor, think about if the cushion that I was punching was made of memory foam. Um, I would punch it and it would take a while for the cushion to get back to its original shape. But if it was made of like a harder foam, um, I would punch it and it would kind of bounce back to its shape right away. So that that's what a quick release time would be, whereas like the memory foam example would be a slow release. So hopefully that makes it a little bit clearer. So when you're thinking about compression, think of it as a punch. If your audio was a punch, how would you want it to feel? Would you want it to be like a soft, consistent punch where you just kind of 
you know, grazing it? Or would you want it to be like really hard and jolty and just compress, compress? Or would you just want it to be like a really nice, satisfying, like you get a good swing in and a good punch, it hits it, you know, pretty well. I don't know. <laughs> Jelly, jelly, jelly.